Okay, well, I looked at holistic and restorative responses to gender-based violence and links to HIV and AIDS. Well, restorative justice is about, it's, it's a lens, it's a paradigm shift in how we look at crime and violence. And it really says that crime harms people and relationships. So it gives the conflict and the back to the people who are directly affected to allow them to dialogue uh, or to, you know, share about their part in it and how it's impacted especially victims and then if the perpetrators to take responsibility and accountability for their actions. Now restorative justice ideally should be initiated by the victim. It is a very, it is a very victim centered uh, process and ideally when the victim is ready they should be able to say you know what I want to uh, approach my perpetrator but obviously victims are unaware of this and communities are not aware so a lot of education around restorative justice needs to happen so people can understand what are the benefits of it and uh, so that it's still a challenge in South Africa because currently a lot of uh, restorative justice work is initiated by the perpetrator and the criminal justice system. So we need to move where victims are more educated about it early and then they take the opportunity to initiate it. Restorative justice brings one other angle which is a human rights perspective. So from cultural perspective just ensuring that uh, there's human rights of all that are respected, it's victim centered. So those principles are very important. So these restorative sessions can be very powerful to debunk perceptions, to teach you know, new um, attitudes, uh, to get men to listen to women, which they sometimes never have a voice um, to be able to do when they are on a one-on-one. -on -one. And it also prevents the isolation of victims. So you, in a session, you, it's best to maybe allow other people in the community who support the victim and who understand the situation of gender-based violence. So there's accountability for the perpetrator. I think you don't get that in the criminal justice system. Going to prison alone doesn't hold victim empathy. It doesn't always ensure accountability because sometimes inmates are not forced to think about the effects this has had on victims. So that's why restorative justice is a powerful tool. And I think the theme throughout the conference has been engaging with the community, dialoguing, opening up those spaces to challenge those attitudes that are reinforcing violence in our society and gender-based violence and HIV prevention. It's critical to engage and dialogue about these issues.